Super, Super Chiller is actually one of my favorite ones, and it definitely plays out like it's, this could be a slasher film for real. Okay, that one is called Broken Hearts. Sorry, that is called Broken Hearts, and um, yeah, it's a badass. It's a badass book. That's all I gotta say. It plays out like a slasher film set during um, Valentine's, the Valentine's Day period. Okay. Um, the next one is actually the first one I ever bought that got me into these, and that was The Cheater. Um, it was all right, you know. I liked it when I first read it, but then when I actually found out about all the other Fear Street books and read those, I you know dug a lot of other ones better. But this was cool. But it was the first Fear Street book I ever read and bought. Okay. Um, the next one after that was Sunburn, and this is nothing to do with actually with Sunburn or anything like that. It's that's just the title, but it's it too is like a beach slasher. And uh, okay, the next mini series he had going on was the Fear Street Saga, and this is what explains the history of Fear Street, where how evil began from a family by the name of Fear that began with I believe F. E I F E I R or F I E R, I don't remember. But uh, due to the curse of the family with that name, they changed it to F E A R. So that's pretty much the explanation. But uh, these books are very intricate and go into a lot of detail about the whole thing. But they're set in the like, 17 or 1800s The Betrayal, The Secret, and The Burning. And that's known as the Fear Street Sagas. They are pretty cool. They're different, but they were cool. Okay, uh, the next holiday super chiller that came out was Silent Night 2. And again, Riva Dobley. Um, and this one I really, really liked as well. I liked all this. Actually, I liked all the Silent Night books. There you go. Um, the next one was really good was The New Boy. Good book. It was pretty violent. Okay. Um... Then you got, uh, let's see here, The Dare. All right. Um, one of my favorite ones as well, because it played out kind of like A Nightmare on Elm Street, was Bad Dreams. And I love the cover. I mean, even though it's all decked out with, like, Valentine Pink, because it came out during, like, Valentine, Valentine's Day in February. But uh, I love this book. Okay. Um, Double Date was a pretty violent book, I believe. Had a good twist and everything. It's about these twins. Um, okay. Another book that actually kind of started, uh, kickstarted a trend with me and my group of friends in my neighborhood where we create our own club. But this was the Thrill Club. <laughs> and uh, I believe it was the Supernatural one. I'm almost positive. But it's about these group of friends who get together every week or whatnot in their little, like, cool space shindig spot and they trade off really scary stories they created themselves with twists and stuff but like something happened I, I don't remember the plot to this honestly but um yeah i just remember it sparked off my friends wanting to create our own club when we were young anyway uh let's see here the next super chiller for the summer was the dead lifeguard this one was pretty cool um again i don't remember much about it but it was cool okay uh, a pretty wicked one was uh, One Evil Summer. And, uh, okay, I'm going to move on to the next Supernatural um, miniseries again. After after the uh, Fear Street Sagas, there was 99 Fear Street, The House of Evil. Okay, and this was the first horror, second horror, and the third horror. And this came out, I believe, right before my ninth grade year, or maybe my eighth grade, you know, my eighth grade year. And um, these came out, like, during June, July, and August. And um, these were awesome books. Pretty much, it's like Amityville Horror on Fear Street. And they play out bracing, basically like that. And it's, it's fucking awesome. And I remember this is about the first family that moves into the house. This is the second family that's haunted a lot by the first family. And this one's where they're making a movie at the actual house about what happened in the first one. <coughs> and it's uh they're they're really cool books i really dug this uh series a lot okay moving on um this is getting more to the period of when i was getting to high school but not quite okay um here we go this is uh cheerleaders the new evil so yeah this was the continuation off of 
the other cheerleader's book. This is the fourth one. Uh, it was all right. Okay. Um, here's wrong number two. It was a sequel with the same characters uh, getting involved in a similar situation. Um, and this is, by this time, they, there was a new artist that was not the same artist that did all the other covers that I just previously showed. They were somewhat awesome. They were somewhat cool, but not as cool. But here we go. Um, Truth or Dare. Um, let's see here. Dead End. Um, the Final Grade. Um, switched. Um, there was a werewolf book, but yeah, I'm not going to go into that one because it wasn't that great. Um, let's see here. Okay, um, The Stepsister 2. Um... The New Year's Party, which was a super chiller, which was really cool. I liked it a lot. Um, what Holly Heard. Um, the Face, which was really cool. Um, Secret Admirer, you know, another slasher film type setting. Um, this was The Perfect Date. Um, the Confession, which was pretty cool. Um, and The Boy Next Door, which is pretty cool. Like, I know I keep saying that over and over, but, you know, that's all I can really remember or relate. Uh, Good Night Kiss Part 2, Super Chiller. So this is the vampire one. Um, it was alright. And, uh, let's see here. I'm going to move on to, uh, some other ones here. Um, <clears throat> Night Games, it was, it was pretty cool. Um, okay, and here's Super Chiller, and this is Silent Night 3. And Riva Dobbly right there, that bitch. Okay, um, and then Runaway. Uh, Killer's Kiss. All Night Party. The Rich Girl. Cat, High Tide, and uh, let's see here, okay, the last of them, well almost the last, not quite, uh, there's a series called Fear Hall, The Beginning, which takes place on a college campus, and uh, Shadyside, I liked it, I dug it. And here's the other one, Fear Hall, The Conclusion, I really don't like these covers, because they were... Not the artistic. Okay, uh, let's see here. And and one I really liked, which is a slasher film type, was Who Killed the Homecoming Queen? Dug it a lot. Loved it. In fact, when I was a kid, when I was in, I think it came out in my 8th grade year or ninth grade year, I'm not sure. I wrote like my own little script based on it or whatever. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Into the Dark about a blind girl. This was a pretty cool book as well. Getting the character being blind, it was really hard. To, it was really interesting reading the her thoughts and, and she, you know, the way she saw things and how she couldn't see things. Um, so it was really cool. Okay, and this is the Best Friend 2. Bobo ass cover. Also, I gotta say. Um, okay, and then we have this Breakfast Club meets The Blob and that movie is trapped. I mean, this book is trapped. And this time, the Fear Street got an over make overdue. So this is what the, the books and the logo started to look like, which I wasn't a fan of at all. Um, and here was uh, another super chiller called the Cheerleaders, The Evil Live. So this is part five. Okay. And, um, and, and then it got uh, picked up by another company, got a whole overhaul done. And they were a little thicker, but, uh, okay, here we go. And that was Fear Street Super Chiller. As you can know, to know, it was number one on this, but that was because it was by a new company. Um, but it was uh, The Step Brother, which was a really good book. Okay, um, another one here was Camp Out, which played out like, uh, kind of like a wrong turnish. It was really effing good, really brutal. 
Um, and then it was Scream, Jennifer Scream, which I actually loved, loved, loved this book. This this definitely played out like a, a definite um, slasher film. And then there was The Bad Girl. Which I, I kind of liked it too. The the these books by the, when it, these last four I just showed were actually a lot vicious and violent. Um, for now I'm gonna leave it at that. <clears throat> and so that was my Fear Street collection. And as you can see, I made a big mess of my Fear Street books. I'm gonna have to put back on the shelf, but no big deal. I'm gonna do it. Um, but I just want to show off some of those books and this art, this cover art and stuff. But again. They were fun, and I'm sure anybody who caught this may know that you know when they read them, they were fans of it too. A lot of them, a lot of people that got into these books, had to search out all the old ones too, which I was one of those kids. Anyway, I just want to show the case in. Uh, I'll leave comments if you remember these books or whatnot. But uh, if not, you know, if you ever come across one in the library or bookstore, check it out. Anyways, y'all take care. Peace.